up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jandi and in today's video we're going to be making some arroz con gandules or as in English you would say green pigeon peas and rice but the difference is we're going to be using the instant pot. All right yes I know I'm already hearing it all my body goes from the isla. ¿Qué? ¿Tú no vas a hacer un caldero? ¿Cómo te atreves? Yes. I'm not going to use a caldero. I don't even know how to translate it into English. It's a big pot in which we put all the ingredients and we let it cook. I get it. I know I have to be more traditional, but we really have no time to be focusing on, let's check on the rice. Oh, is it cooked? Is it not? No. Nowadays, all that we got to do is put all the ingredients in, put the lid on, press that button, and it does it for you. So I think it's the more convenient way of having traditional food quick and easy. All right, so to start, so our first ingredient is gonna be bacon. I took four slices of bacon and I chopped them up. Then I have some green, red, and yellow peppers and some onion. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil just to get it started. Then we're gonna add some sofrito and this comes very, directly from Puerto Rico. Um, my mother-in-law brought it, so thank you, Lisa. And then I have here some chicken bone broth, but you can use any kind of stock you want. If you want to use some chicken stock, vegetable stock, or just even water, it's up to you. And I have some rice, one can of my gandules or green pigeon peas, two Packets of sazon. I'm using the Nor one because that's the one that I have, but you can use the Goya one. And this one has the achote and cilantro, which is, I'm sorry, culantro, which is what you need. Some salt, some garlic powder, some pepper. And in a little bit, I'm going to show you a little secret ingredient that I use that I think gives it a ton of more flavor and is super healthy as well for you. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. <laughs> So we're going to press the saute button. I'm going to put a little bit of oil of oil. Oil of oil. Oh God, I can't say it. Olive oil. That's how you say it. Olive oil. <laughs> and then we're going to put some bacon. I always have a rag because I don't like hands when I cook. All right. So it's going to take a few seconds, minutes to start heating everything up. All right. And for you guys that don't know, arroz con gandules is a very traditional uh, food that we eat, especially during Christmas time or even celebrating anything. Graduation, arroz con gandule. A birth, arroz con gandule. I don't know, birthday, arroz con gandule. Anything. We always have arroz con gandule, some pernil, <laughs> I don't know, tostone. We people love to eat. We celebrate and we include food. And I really love that about my culture, being Puerto Rican, so. So while that is cooking, I am going to add our vegetables. And now, yes, I bought them already chopped because that's the way I am. But if you want to go ahead and buy the peppers and chop them out, go ahead. But I honestly am loving the convenience if that's how you say it, of just going to the store and buying it already pre-chopped for you and just dumping it in is quick, easy, and another thing is that you don't have your vegetables spoiling in the fridge. So our vegetables are in. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm using just regular salt, but you can use Himalayan salt, sea salt, whatever you want. A little bit of pepper. garlic powder mm. 
Okay, now I'm gonna add some sofrito. And as you can see, I have not told you any measurements because that's another thing about our food. It's more of you pour, taste as you go. And I am one of, I don't know, few people that actually smell my food a lot, so you might be seeing me smelling a lot. But anyways, we technically don't use measurements. We just pour, smell, taste, and if it's good, then that's it. But at the end, in the description down below, I will try to put some measurements for you guys. So you want your baking to be cooked, but not super, super crunchy. Like I love it, I love my bacon super crunchy. But you want it to be cooked, all right? You don't want it to be raw. That's not healthy at all. Okay, oh, look at my glasses. Come to the side. Yeah, that's good, all right. All right, so while that's still cooking, I'm going to add my rice. This is two cups of white rice. I'm gonna add a little bit of my liquid, just a little bit, because I don't want it to stick. Now I'm gonna add the two packets of my sasson. Stop the saute. I'm gonna add the rest of my liquid. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more though. Because I had two cups of rice, so I should have two and a half cups of liquid, and I only had two there, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Last but not least, the gandules. And I already rinse them. I do not pour it with the liquid. Some people do, and that's totally fine, but I, it adds too much sodium into it. And I'm, I'm already putting salt. <laughs> so I want to control how much sodium is going to my food. All right. And I'm going to taste in a second. garlic. 
bigger. And now, I am going to show you something that I put in my arroz con gandules that I think no one puts in, but I don't know. And it's turmeric. <laughs> I really like this spice. It's super healthy. It's an anti-inflammatory. It helps with your immune system and it gives this like an earthy flavor and I just love it. So I'm just going to add really a dash, not a lot. And it gives a little bit more color as well. So when you're doing your arroz con gandules, try it and let me know. It's a game changer. Try one more time. I'm gonna rinse it. Even though it's for me and my family. Oh wow. Yes. Alright. So now we're gonna put it in. Wait. I'm doing this. I never do this this way. I do it the opposite way, so. There it is. You wanna make sure that the little knob here is on seal. And at this time, I'm gonna need your prayers and your good vibes. Cause lately, I don't know what happened after I cleaned my Instant Pot, the, the knob sometimes doesn't wanna close. So if it doesn't close, it's not gonna build the pressure to actually seal it and cook it. So, all right, here we go. And we press rice and that is it. We let it cook all right so it's done um, just to explain a little bit once you hit the rice button it's gonna say auto it's gonna build the pressure up and it's gonna this little nozzle here is gonna pop meaning that is sealed once that pop and thank you for all your good vibes because it did <laughs> it will start doing a clock countdown uh, from 12 it already been 12 minutes. I just let it rest for 12 more minutes to um, to do I think it's called like an auto steam release because I don't want to just Open the valve and all these steam um, release, but I am gonna do it now and A good trick is just to put this on top so you don't get all the steam on your face So here we go, moment of truth. It's perfect. Smells good. Looks good. Now we're gonna try it. Let me get a bowl. You want me to try it or? All right, let's give it a try. It's hot. Mm. It is really good. You can taste everything and I'm telling you, the flavor that the turmeric gives is amazing. Okay, let's put it out. Really good, but it's still hot.
Okay. So, I'm gonna put a link to where you can get um, this Instant Pot on the description box below. And I'm gonna put the recipe as well. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And on the comment down below, let me know if you tried in the Instant Pot, if you did it the regular way, if you added the turmeric, if you didn't. Please let me know if you, if you liked it, if you didn't. And what else would you like to see in the channel, all right? So, until next one, bye.